Uh, hey, before we go into this video, I just want to really tell you guys, please subscribe to my channel. It comes to my notice that, unfortunately, only 25% of the people who watch my stuff are subscribed. So if you are, and please consider if you want to see more really dumb stuff from me, right? Take care, guys. Alright, what's up guys? As always, welcome back to Over Game vs. Aaron. And, um, yeah, going back to know the Miltang team. I'm... <laughs> I actually have a lot of fun with it. Um, been, you know, facing opponents also that kind of neglected its efficiency. Like a proper fighting type like Machamp and uh, Scarf Hitmolly ruined this thing quite well. Uh, hopefully I get to showcase, like, the very worst games too. I, I really hope I do. But besides that, I'm, you know, I have a proper fun time. Um, it's fun that the sign mill tank for this course yet to have, uh, yet to face them. Which is kind of unfortunate. Let's see what our opponent brings to the table. I like this. I like this team a lot, Aaron. I really do. Yet again, though, my milkmaker is not looking like super solid. Um, Optimus looks kind of great. And, um, you know, it's one of these few times I realized it would be nice if um, I had something for, um, like, a fire type. But Helios Marotan looks really solid, mainly because um, Lantern, which definitely walls it, doesn't necessarily not enjoy Leaf Storm, and it's an option I have to um, consider. Uh, also, Hate Scissor, great Pokemon. It is so efficient. Uh, it, like, it really is. It's a great Pokemon. I just struggle to, to make that one work. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Um, so, I think that uh, Fortress did not get Stealth Rocks yet. It's still a good defensive lead and it do pack something like... Um, um, it does pack... Uh, what do you call it? Um, not Earthquake. Uh, spikes. So it's something I gotta be aware about. So Optimus looks to be really good here. Uh, light Screen. Oh, a Screener. That's kind of great, really. Have yet to see set slice at. So head smash looks to be really great. Just nice like saying I of course miss as my opponent goes for toxic spikes. There we go. Nice. So now defog is an absolute. Let's see if we can get the next one to land at least. Gotta kill you dead. Alright, we're not doing this. Reflect. What absolute mad lad. Alright. Um I kinda hope. I can defog away these. Right, so, so maybe not the best scenario. I really hope it doesn't explode. Just keep setting hazards, right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Right, let's take them away. I'm a generous god. Two head smash misses. 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 What are the odds? So wait, anyway, no screams. And no toxic spikes. What happens then? Oh, cool. A, a very fair exchange, really. I can get down with that. That's not going to do anything. So what a... What a waste. <laughs> what an absolute waste. All right, cool. Cool. You don't see those. You really don't see those. Um, I feel so bad for my opponent. I do recognize, however, Sister is still absolutely devastating. And Cloyster is definitely not helping. Yeah, Cloyster is not helping. I mean, he shell smashes and that's it. So... I quake here. In case it's set up. I don't think Ice Shard kills me. Oh, he's scarfed. This absolutely ruins me. Right. That's cool. Not really. Um. I kind of hope that Optimus can um, take these hits. I mean, they are resisted after all. So I guess I'm kind of a good scenario. Um. Just need to connect that head smash. I do think I force him out to an extent. Oh, he's not scarfed. That's bad. Oh, he had to be. Right? Nice. I was just slow. I was just slow. Fine. 
fine. <laughs> no, is Cloyster really that fast? Or, I mean, I'm relaxed, I guess, yeah. I guess there are scenarios it could outspeed, fine. Just didn't expect it to happen. Right here comes the lantern. Oh, this is a devastating mon. They usually are. Really my best way of trying to um, get this guy going. I mean, it could carry um, Ice Beam. I kind of hope I don't switch into that. I just want a proper skull. Yes, nice. Not going to do anything. Don't burn me. Nope. And I think in this scenario, his best switch in should be Scissor. Um, still, I think I still leave Storm uh, and try to burn the scissor if he comes in. Um, I don't know how much I wanted to read into this. I mean, clearly that was the obvious play. I'm gonna, not gonna do anything, but at the same time, like U turn is gonna sting. But if I connect my Will O Wisp, that's not gonna matter at all. And if it's a Soul Stand set, then I'm not too worried about the. Um, the bullet punches, at least not yet. Let's see. Withdraws. Huh. To his lantern. Right, he's back. He is back. And we burn the lantern. But now I am at minus two, which is definitely less exciting. And uh, quite honestly, if he carries something like Ice Beam, then this is not going to be a great. Kind of want to bring in the Milk Maker. Mainly to gauge it. I mean, Milk Maker's um, option of efficiency really aren't that impressive. Right, Ice Beam is going to do nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Is that Shell Bell? That is a shell bell. That's kinda That's kinda cool. Alright, let's try this one more time. I can set up rocks, chip stuff away. I also know that one mon in particular, the Sissor, is frustrating enough for me to deal with. I don't wanna switch in um I really don't wanna switch in my lantern directly into that. Let's see, here comes a scold. I'm baiting for the bone. Did not get the burn. Nice. Right, his his method of attacking is probably gonna be just keep going at it. And I think this goes a bit too slow. So yeah, Tassadar is to play. I have no sash to preserve anyway, so like going for a proper Zy Shock, just get as much damage in there as possible. Is probably my route. Plus, if I get myself burned, it's not gonna matter. Still does a lot. Now I get to burn, and it won't matter. Because his switching should not be that, like, well-routed. Even I think Scissor is gonna take a lot of damage from uh, a Psychic. Or Psy Shock. And I can always substitute. Ah, Psy Shock. Let's see, this is this how he's saying? No. Like I said, Sisla is probably his best play. Or Spirit Tomb, which I totally forgot about. That's unfortunate. Should just have Shadow Bolt. That was bad. That was really bad of me. Should just have Substitute, what? All right. Bring in the Milk Maker. Ah, that's bad. Right. Substitute. Is the call mine substitute is a question? Kinda have to be. I'm not sure how much a body slam will do. It's gonna get meaty. I can always paralyze him though. And it faded. Nice. Goes for Willow. Ah, uh, 
I'm thinking. Substitute Will O Wisp. Um. Um. This is not great. Right, bring in Helios. Because I need some real damage. Because he's going to resubstitute, which is, by the way, will be nothing to it. Curse. Ooh. Yeah, that's not great either. And if he predicts right... Then he goes to Lantern here, right? Yeah, I need to leave Storm. I think Lantern comes in, if I'm lucky. Yes! Murder this guy! Take him out! Yes! Yes! Finally I can Volt Switch. Basically, worst case scenario was the Scissor. I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. However, I do not enjoy staying in here. I'm losing a lot of HP on that curse. Huh. I'm not gonna stay in versus a Togekiss. Fear that man a lot. Here comes the Scissor. Which I should be able to outspeed and Volt Switch out on. Which I will do. I can always burn it, but I'm not sure I want to do that. And I'm not sure Bullet Punch was to play. Sure, get some damage done, I guess, but no. Well, minus one, please. That's a lot. Gonna bring the headstrong guy. I mean, Creever. The waterfalls are just incredible from this scenario. Have really nothing to worry about. Besides air slash flinches, but I'm not gonna really get away from those either. Come on, you gotta sack Cicero. I don't believe you have a switch in. I don't believe you got it, friend! I don't believe you got it! <laughs> so, right, Spirit Tomb can't do anything here. It loses the matchup too. So, really, it's all about the Togekiss. And it's all about what type of Togekiss it is. If it's a Scarf Air Slash set, I'm still in trouble. But if it is a Thunder Wave set, then uh, I should be fine. For at least two hits. My opponent is thinking. What you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Spirit Tomb. Pfft, please. You're gonna sucker punch me? I'm gonna sucker punch you. With some pressure. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it! Piece of shit. There we go. There we go. I'll happily take your surrender. Come on, buddy. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Togekiss. As long as you are just annoying set, you are dead. Show me what you got. Oh, I even outspeed! Oh! Hell yeah, John. Oh, oh, you asked for it. There's a supporter set, which, by the way, I kind of can appreciate. It's just that Swampert's Choice Bandit set are so great and right now so underrated. Right, Togo? GG Aaron, what a fantastic game. And who knew Lantern could be so annoying for me? It really did some numbers. Also, first time for Etrus, loved it. So anyway, as always, you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this game, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, alright?